The Rouge River watershed in southeast Michigan spans approximately 438 square miles and is home to over 1.4 million people. Not long ago, the river was also one of the most polluted bodies of water in the country. This river actually used to catch fire. It wasn't just the Cuyahoga in Cleveland. This river would, it had so much oil on it, you couldn't even see the river. In 1992, Wayne County, Michigan retained CDM to provide program management services for the US EPA funded Rouge River National Wet Weather Demonstration Project. CDM has been involved since the early 1990s. We had been working with, with Wayne County and they, they came to us to look for some of our ideas on watershed management. CDM was involved in the master planning and the overall planning of the many, many factors that go into restoring a river. Well, CDM has been the uh, architect of the Rouge River Revival. Uh, they have really put together the game plan on how do you study this river, how do you put together a watershed plan. What are the elements of a watershed plan? It isn't just water quality, it's, it's how you treat the river, how the river acts like a river, not just the chemistry of the river, it's the biological activity in the river, it's how the river responds to, to, uh, to storms, how the river acts when it's not raining. CDM led the program team in developing and implementing sustainable watershed improvements they assessed combined sewer overflows and developed control strategies, as well as stormwater and non-point source pollution control programs. They monitored and modeled water quality in the watershed and developed a geographic information system to manage the data and support continued management. They assessed wetlands resources and developed strategies to protect and enhance riverbank and wetland systems. And they involve the public in the decision making and implementation of these programs. Now I know this sounds like a mouthful, but this multifaceted approach has literally transformed the Rouge. We're on the Rouge River, and this is how the river looked at about the turn of the century, and it still does. It's in really good shape, but as soon as we get about a half a mile downstream, it's going to turn into a very industrial, highly urbanized, ugly kind of thing. And when we get along to the channelized section, we have great water quality there now. Some of the best in Michigan. There's been major improvements in, in the rivers, but what we're working on now is that flow of the pollutants from the streets and the driveways and the rooftops that get into the river. And fortunately, there are some solutions and there's citizens that are working with government agencies. And one of the solutions is rain gardens and keep that water on site close to home and grow attractive plants. We've got a win-win solution. So the Rouge River National Wet Weather Demonstration Program that CDM has helped put together has won all kinds of national awards. CDM is also leading the movement to rethink the concrete channeling of the Rouge. Restoring the river to a more natural state enhances more than just the beauty of the river. The fish can't live there because when the storms come, it blows it out of there like a sewer. So we're building an oxbow project and we're building wetlands and other kinds of things for the fish to have a habitat and to get out of the way of the storm. And we're also removing a lot of the cement that was put there for flood control. We're gonna still have flood control, but we're gonna make it look more like a park setting and a more invite people down to enjoy the river instead of, ooh, you gotta stay away from here. <laughs> this is dangerous, don't come near it. I mean, that's not what environment should be, right? And so we are trying to maintain the more natural characteristics of the river. Like you see here, where we have trees on the side of the river and the water is now shaded. The water temperature is not gonna get as high today in the bright sunlight uh, where the shaded part of the river is, as opposed to the concrete uh, section of the river downstream. We're doing really good. It's, uh, we're spent close to a million dollars in cleaning up the water quality. In fact, this river we're on now, when we get back around the corner here, it's the first time it's met the DO standard since uh, they start taking uh, records. And DO is a really important part for fish because the uh, fish needed to breathe. And we're now getting coho salmon coming up this river. We're getting trout coming up this river. The past five years, we've introduced 17 new species of fish to the Rouge River that have been, haven't been here for 40 years. Today, the reclaimed Rouge River is not only cleaner, but it provides the benefits of a healthy watershed. Residents canoe and fish, activities not possible before the project. 
things that we're trying to do is create a gateway to other green spaces throughout the nation. And so inside of metropolitan Detroit, the Oxbow offers people who have never had the opportunity to go to a national forest before or to a national park or someplace like that to experience nature, to experience the river, to experience wildlife and be comfortable with it. The area also offers new educational opportunities. It's important that the public knows about what impacts the health of the river and what activities they can do to improve that health and what activities that they're doing that are harmful that actually hurt the river. So it's very important that we educate them. Community involvement, starting with the youth, is critical if these beautiful restored areas are to be maintained and cherished in the years to come. It makes me feel good to work here and make it a better place because it helps other people and they can enjoy it more. Thanks to CDM and its multiple benefits approach, the future is clean and bright for not only the Rouge River, but the people of Wayne County as well.